My name is Chaslav Bruckner. Our group aims at understanding fundamental principles behind the quantum theory. We question the validity and try to test the quantum theory itself. Uh, the biggest goal is to combine some concepts of quantum theory with some concepts in our understanding of space and time, rather than developing an entirely new theory, see how far we can push the principles that we understand today. Both theories are some of the most successful. They tell us what the world is like at very large scales, and sense theory of relativity, and what the world is like on very small scales, quantum theory. When combining the two, there seems to be a big clash. One uh, fundamental uh, element of physics is that any notion is basically a relational statement. Yeah, quantum physics brings challenges for our understanding of physical reality. And classical physics is a formalization of our everyday experience. And exactly this everyday experience is what quantum physics challenges. Among many things, it seems to point to the fact that uh, objects do not have properties that are independent from observers. Well, usually when we describe a physical system, we do so with respect to a classical reference frame, like a clock or a ruler. But we ask what happens if these systems themselves are quantum systems. What does the world look like when described from the perspective of a quantum particle? And then we can ask what is the consequence for physics when reference frames are quantum mechanics. It really uh, challenges our intuition on reality. Something what I can take from my private life is that you should never be sure not in your own ideas. You should never think that you're at the end. And in this struggle with the doubt and confusion in understanding, I think we progress. What always excited me most about studying physics was when I learned that the world was not what I thought it was. And sometimes we have these small moments of success, these small sparks of understanding. And this is what you need to celebrate because you will dive right back into confusion again. We're the Bruckner Group and whenever we get rid of confusion, we are looking for the new thing to get confused again.